What's up, y'all? I know what you're thinking. Big Cam, you ain't been around. And you're wearing a Buccaneers hat? What is wrong with you? No. My mother got me this hat because... I need a haircut. And my hair's getting far too long. But it's not long enough on the sides yet. But, beggars can't be choosers. My Raiders hat's downstairs. I'll switch out then. But, we're going out. I don't know if you can probably hear it. I don't know. You might not be able to on the camera. But the car is cold started outside. Just warming up because it's freezing out here in Boston. And that is a big reason why I haven't been making content. It's just, there's snow on the ground. I don't know. I'll show you. Maybe you'll see. Maybe you can see. There's just snow everywhere. And it's gross. It's icy. And you just can't do nothing with that, you know? And, um, fun little story for you. This picture inspired said tattoo. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of cool, right? <laughs> it's the little things. It's the little things. You know, like, it's things that inspire me. Hmm. I don't know, I've never really done any, uh, any in-depth detail on too many of my tattoos. But I got quite a bit, you know? Uh, but maybe that's a story for another day. But today we're going to go out, get maybe get this thing clean. But we're going to get no more snow next week, so I don't know. I might, but I might show that. But I'll show you what the car has been sounding like recently, what she's looking like, because she's looking real clean, super mean. But, uh, and I've been daily driving it through the winter, so that's tough. But we're heading out, so I'll talk to you guys more when I'm outside. Copyright, can't play that, but if you fuck with my dog, Seti Hendrix, focus. There you go. Seti Hendrix. Buy a song. Check it out. Check it out. Voice crack. I'm 13. No, I'm not. But just turned 22 recently. Happy birthday to myself. But <laughs> I haven't been filming, you know. I've been doing my own thing. I've been trying to get in better shape. I'm down to the lightest weight I've been since my friggin' sophomore year of high school, which I didn't plan that, so fuck yeah. But that's all thanks to Pillow the Gorilla. In gorilla fitness if you guys want to do jujitsu or uh, general fitness at all in any matter or Muay Thai MMA kickboxing type stuff Tuesday Thursday nights in Tewksbury at Gorilla Crew Fitness I'm there and uh, yeah it's a great little team that we got over there and we got a couple really high-level black belts that really know their shit so if you guys are ever are interested you know you can always DM me or hit up Jake Pilla. I'll leave his information down below. And I'll, it, or you can follow at Gorilla Crew. I'll leave it right here, the bottom of the page. And I'll leave his link in the description below because it's his school, but I'm a part of the team. So anybody that shows up helps me too. So, and it's honestly a really good time. I enjoy it. It's, I enjoy it a lot better than going to the gym and working out, which is kind of weird because, you know, I mean, this is fun, but, you know, I mean, it's such a crazy just all around like it's a culture that you just fall into in this jujitsu shit and it's fucking awesome and i've been really enjoying it but i've been doing that multiple days a week recently and i've been working i've been grinding because i sacrificed for this job so i'm now a car photographer for uh new and used cars and i do like different dealerships i drive around in this beast with the red interior and i don't know you're probably like look at the tinted look at the not tinted what's going on it's that time of year where I go and get my inspection sticker and the guy that does my tints is on vacation. So, we're driving around no tinted for a couple days. Yeah, I'm unhappy about it too. It fucking sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, you know, they'll be back tinted soon. The windshield's not tinted anymore. It's fucking driving me crazy, but it is what it is. But I just found some more damage on the front of the car, which sucks. This car's taking a beating during this fucking winter, bro. Which, but... It might open some opportunities for some more modifications on this thing. So, more content for the springtime. Because I'm really going to start picking up again. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to get motivation. And it's that that Boston, Mass Massachusetts area 
winter depression where we're just we haven't seen a bright sunny warm day in fucking months <laughs> like uh, like I and I got and I teased myself because I went out to California and shit and I was we were wearing shorts and it was 70 degrees out there and shit it was fucking gorgeous but like now we're back here and we're knee deep in snow and it's fucking miserable it's like somebody shitting your Cheerios or something you know what I mean like <laughs> fucking miserable <laughs> but so I've been just grinding trying to do my thing because I was a truck driver so I was making 17 an hour hourly rate I was making overtime every week it was great now you know what I mean I'm, I'm more in control of my schedule I'm my own boss and like you really can't put a cost on peace of mind so like I sacrifice quite a bit of money but now I make commission I have a boss right but he's basically just kind of my boss because he tells me where to go and it was his idea and it's his company that would pay me so he's my boss but he treats me you know what I mean he treats me good and he knows that like you know what I mean he tells me where to go but he gives me like hey you don't need to necessarily go right now but like he gives me a time frame and I end up just going and banging it out and doing doing it right away I get it done and get it over with and then go home you know what I mean so I can do whatever I want to do on my own time because <laughs> ain't that what you want ain't that what you're supposed to do in life do what you want to do you know like that's why I went across that country I'm I was 21 years old now I'm 22 I'm, I'm driving around in a Cadillac customized the way I wanted it crazy I got people hitting me up every single day saying yo I just drove by you on the highway my boss hit me up yesterday going hey my kid and his buddies were on the highway and you just flew by them and I'm like that'll happen you know like that's it's crazy but if you do see me feel free to just to hit me in the DM be like yo even if you don't like it you know what I mean I understand that this isn't an acquired taste but you gotta respect the creativity. It's different. No, this ain't ever been done, son. Like, especially to this car. Like, I'm not a Hellcat. Like, granted, I want a Hellcat. Every, but everyone customizes Hellcats. But wait till you see what I do to my Hellcat. It's gonna be different. It's just gonna be different. I'm telling you, man. You just gotta stay with me. Stay with me, people. You'll be. We're gonna be all right. Just. We got to grind together. Grind with me. If you fucking rock with your boy, fucking show out. Show out in Boston. If you rock with your boy, holla at me. All right? Holla at me. I'm available. I'll hit you back. I'll rock with you too. Show love. I'll show love to you. You a hater? Fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. Nobody here gives a fuck about you. And it's just annoying at the at this point. Nobody wants to hear your mouth. Granted, then it, that only happened one time, and it was because their haters of Mr. Organic and I did something positive with Mr. Organic and they all got mad and they got together and were like fuck this guy he met him and I couldn't fuck him and I'm like mm, you want a fucking cookie here cry about it like god forbid god forbid a white guy tries to hit up Mr. Organic and fucking collaborate and do some shit and it ended up working out I'm gonna I'm I hit up Mr. Organic all the time he answers and he goes like and we collaborate we talk we go back and forth we talk and in the future when I go back out to LA he wanted to make a video so we can probably do that but I know and he knows that we're not on the same level I don't have a hundred million subscribers if I did maybe I'd be able to bring something to the table and be like hey you want some of my subscribers you I get some of yours we collaborate together we share people that's like a mutual business him collaborate with me is not beneficial to him Right, other than maybe he makes a fan, a long, a long time fans day. You know what I mean? Like he gets some good karma out of it. He ain't gonna get money really out of it from me unless I fucking blow up out of nowhere and then some people go over to him. But like, if you rock with me, I think you should rock with him because I'm one of his people that started a channel because of supporting him. Right? Let me explain this in a way that it will be worded good because I'm fucking up. And it's alright because I'm baked. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but. I started my channel because of him and, and Tall Guy Car Reviews. Right? He's best friends with Tall Guy Car Reviews. They both got big channels. Mr. Organic's got like 200,000 something. Maybe more now. I haven't even checked in a while. I still watch all his videos. But I haven't checked the number. He is at like 200 plus thousand. Tall Guy's at like 800,000. And they're living the type of life I want to live. Just 
customize and do things that you want to do travel the world you know what I mean like you gotta just shoot your shot what's the worst that's gonna happen you fail so what pick your boots up again you try again go for it there ain't no shame in the game let's go people like we got this but I'm gonna head to town because it is Valentine's Day and my mother was all crappy and sad because I didn't know the date because I've been grinding and all of a sudden yesterday she was like tomorrow's Valentine's Day and I was like it's February 14th Jesus Christ I thought it was like the fourth <laughs> like I was way off <laughs> like it was bad but if if there's anything left god forbid because it's late now so i don't know if there is going to be anything left but i'm going to try and get her flowers try and make her day why because i'm going to try and be a good son because i'm an asshole and you know it, it is what it is that's how i was bred you know it is what it is but i'm going to try and make my mom's day her birthday's a couple days I already got her a ring she loved that so she couldn't wait till her birthday because she's seen the bag she was like, I can open it now. Oh my God, I love it. Let me make a post on it on Facebook. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. You good? I live, for those that don't know, I live with my mother and sister. My life is miserable. I live with two crazy fucking bitches. Okay? <laughs> like, they're out of their mind. And they drive me nuts. And they're watching this. And they're going to be, me, me, me. You said bad things about us. You called us bitches. And yep, I do. And I say worse things to their face so they know which. I'm looking at I'm looking at both of you, them right now because I know they're watching. Bastards. They're both fans, but they both can they both say, "Oh, your videos suck." <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna hit the road. I was gonna show you the outside of the car, but man, it's fucking cold out, and I'm still in short sleeves because I'm an idiot. But it is what it is. Hopefully, I'll get a car wash and show you the damage on the front. Maybe, maybe I'll keep it to myself, but. It's not noticeable. It's noticeable enough that I'll know it, but maybe you guys won't see. But we'll see. It's just winter damage in this thing, you know? Like, it ha it's gonna happen if you daily drive a low fucking sports car in the snow in New England. Like, shit happens. You hit blocks of ice on the road. You hit fucking snow falling off people's cars. The roads are tighter. This is a wide-ass car. Like, shit happens. So, it is what it is. But I'll see you guys over in Tuckerberry. If we're being perfectly honest, this thing right like if there's anything that you need to do to your car if you're going if you're just starting out and you want to start what are some basic you mean these equation questions i get hey cam what are some basic things i could do to customize my car well right so let's look at this jeep in front of us what, is, what do you see on said jeep i don't know you see that jeep logo in the back and it's chrome you see the chrome rims you see the chrome around the window and i can see into the car and see that motherfucker this thing sounds ridiculous but basic things that you could do you black out that chrome you black out your windows you black out your emblems you black out your rims at least now you have a black package and it looks stealthy and it looks cool and it always looks good <laughs> The, the heads that this thing turns, especially now that they can see me, is wild. This downshift. Oh, fuck, Aroni. But. <laughs> So little things you can do. Tint your windows, it will always help. Um, I'd, I'd suggest doing darker than legal and just paying to fix it every year and put put it back on. That's what I do, it's always worth it. Um, some people just look be like, oh, you don't know a guy? Yeah, who cares? I could go to somebody further away or I could go stay, go to the places I normally go and they know me and I know it's going to pass every single time because it's legal. <laughs> like, because I strip off all the tint. There's not a fucking thing on here in the back, but like, that's legal. Most cars have tint in the back from factory. You know, like that car does. So, <laughs> so does this Jeep. Like, they all have tint in the back, but to at least get 35% matching, even if you go legal limit all the way around, it just, it makes your car look so much better. And then I would invest in some speakers. If you're in, if you ain't trying to wrap your car and do special shit, if you're in New England, maybe 
I would wrap the front of my car in, a, in at least a clear, a clear wrap, so it protects it. Because there's some damage on there that I think, uh, right? Like I have some damage in the back because I was an idiot and I got, well, it was my 22nd birthday and my buddies took me out, so I'll just leave it at that. And I got home at like 2:30 in the morning, and my mother parked her truck, her new truck, in facing inwards, which never happens. Normally she leaves it on the street, and I have to move it. But it was two in the morning, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna throw the car in there, and I'm backing in, and I, and I have a backup camera, so I'm like, all right, I got a little bit more room, cause like, it's not the best backup camera. It's aftermarket, so it's there, but it doesn't like show the ground right behind my car. So I'm backing in. And I friggin' just tapped into it, and I was like, damn! And I friggin' hit it hard as hell, and it left a little friggin' like indent of her where her friggin' trailer hitch is, which sucks. Friggin' awful. And you know what I mean? Like, cause I see it, and it's in the back, now I got a little chunk missing out of my bumper, but it's not that bad. It, once again, like, I see it, but probably somebody else wouldn't necessarily see it if they weren't looking for it. But, nevertheless, it's something that I might be able to peel the wrap off and it's perfectly fine underneath or maybe it just needs like a little bondo just to fill it back in and you, then I wrap it again anyways and then you and then it's no damage at all so you know I mean little things like that and then in the front bumper you know what I mean if, if both of them are messed up it might open up ideas for another plan where I get new bumpers more aggressive ones like the CTSV bumpers or maybe a wide body kit and do that even though this car is already wide make it even wider that's an idea so i don't know maybe you guys at home can tell me what your thoughts are what you would do hmm, that's a good idea hit me in the comments below what do you think of that should i just get new bumpers entirely and then make it a wide body that could be an idea or even just more aggressive bumpers get the ctsv hood to wrap it all over again these are all ideas that we could possibly do, but they all take time, they all take money, which now it takes more time for me to make more money because my photography gig isn't paying necessarily as much because my rate of pay dictate, is dictated by how many cars I'm able to photograph in a set of time. So in the summer, I should be making more money because right now, every other day it's snowing and there's snow on all the cars at the dealerships, they're all dirty and you can't really take pictures of them so you can't necessarily have 30 40 cars to do at any given moment like i can during the summertime so you know but if i stick with it you mean and i do enjoy it which is like goes back to what i was saying you can't put a cost on peace of mind but that's how it goes for me right now you gotta just do what you gotta do <laughs> but just got off the highway i'll see you guys over maybe at the bro shop or maybe at the old car wash all right y'all so this is how we looking not too bad you can't really see it too too well with the uh winter with this camera but in person she's really filthy but you probably missed it it's on the back here a little damage little nick it might only be in the wrap so we might be okay but Rest in peace, Kobe. She's still looking good. But this is what I just seen before I left. This is all pushed in. This looks like it got hit by like a a big friggin' ice block or something like that. But we about to walk in, or we about to <laughs> walk in. We about to drive into this car wash here. Get her all cleaned up. I'll show you guys afterwards what she's looking like. She'll be looking clean and mean. But, whew, it's cold out this bitch. Independent nigga, so don't care with me. Picture me rolling by the bay, baby. That one till I give up is a day, maybe. If you really worth it, I will stay in you. Real nigga talk, really on the table. I still bought my metal, I will stay safe. Do it cause you want a baby fucking friend. Grenades only blow up in the fucking rain. Carry yourself how you wanna be seen If you want my all, I gotta see loyalty Never take away when I see your whole queen 
That means she really been with the beauty So she really making niggas stop to dream About to start the action like we making a scene How that ass moving even when she put on jeans Shake it baby with your ass We are cleaned, we are dried, we have done pictures. I'll show you on here. Yeah, there we go. Big Cam Car Reviews, pink shades. How about that? Mm -hmm. And that's more or less Big Cam, Recipes Kobe, Eastside Motoring. And if you haven't already, follow all my social medias. If you're here, subscribe, like this video. If you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. That's all my socials. That's where you can reach me. Now I'm frozen, but the car is clean. Woo! Fuck, anyone else feel that? How cold that is? Let's hit the road again, shall we? All right, I'll give you one poll. I know you were asking. Uh, one poll, one poll, one poll. Car is nice and warm, so I'll warm up in a second for all that back up. Whew. But you hear her, you seen her, you heard from me. I think that's gonna do it for me, boys. You seen I got the flowers for my mother. Maybe I'll throw in a little clip of her getting those at the end. Be nothing nice and special. Didn't get any for my sister because she doesn't deserve them, and you know you don't, Bertha. You know you don't. Just is what it is. Hey! Driving by old jujitsu. Look at that. That's where it is. No jujitsu today. Today is Sunday, the Lord's Day. And we're about to pass a church too. The Lord's Day. Amen. All that. You know. Praise be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Salaikum alam. Whatever. Whatever your fancy. Shout out to your Sunday. But you ain't gonna bother me on my Sunday. My Sunday involves cruising around the caddy, getting a little car wash, getting flowers for my mumsy, because I'm a good son, as much as she'd like to say I'm not. But I'll see you guys maybe at home. But if you've made it this far in this video, good, th <laughs> not good luck. Thanks for, for, for coming. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you for coming. Uh, please, oh please, like the video. If you haven't, you know what I mean? Like, that's fine. But you should be liking the videos because that helps your boy out, gets the algorithms up. And we're trying to, you know what I mean, make this shit happen. I understand I haven't posted in a couple of months. We're gonna get back to it. Do you not see all the snow on the ground? It's fucking miserable, folks. I'm trying my best. I'm not, but I, I'm going to. I, I promise y'all, I'll be doing better. And I'm gonna do it for for y'all, for the entertainment of the YouTubes, and to make somebody's day better. If I if I have ever made one of your days, but if you're having a bad day, then you watch one of my videos and you laughed or something, smiled, fucking cried, whatever. If you had some emotion and you liked it, you know what I mean. You're welcome. But I appreciate y'all for watching the videos. You know what I mean. None of you have to. You come out your way to watch the videos for me. I appreciate it. It will never, I'll, I'll never be able to stress how much I appreciate y'all. Um, this shit was tons of fun on the road trip. I'm already planning, me and Rez are already planning more trips. He wants to go away so much. Um, when we can get the hell out of this country, I'm going to be traveling again and doing all that because I'm trying to really make this a travel channel as much as possible because that's what I'm truly interested in. And, you know what I mean, cars are also part of my life and I like to be... You know what I mean? The guy with that car. <laughs> you know, like, I've driven by so many people. If you've hit me up or followed me over the last couple months because you've seen this car driving around, I appreciate y'all because 
Oh my god, I have so many people hitting me up, messaging me every fucking day. Hey man, I just passed you on the highway, that thing's fucking sick. Or even some people that don't like it, they won't hit me up and say that, but there's some people out there that don't like it. And for, the, for those that don't, fuck you, but it is what it is. Like, you don't like blue and purple, fuck off. <laughs> like, it's still cool, it's different, nobody's done this shit, so... If you can hate if you want, but I don't know how you can hate from outside the club because you can't even get in. And I'll leave it at that. But smash that subscribe for, button for your boy. There will be more content coming soon. I promise y'all. Don't worry about it. We're the, the winter's almost over. We're creeping into the spring, into the summertime. It's only a couple months away, and we'll be back to normal. I hope. Oh, this COVID shit's miserable. We gotta get over it. People just gotta fucking stop wearing masks and fucking just get the fuck outside and just be like. Oh, we're still the exact same people. We're perfectly fine. Great. Awesome. And for those that have been affected by COVID, I'm sorry. I've been affected as well. But it, this shit sucks. You can't say it's been fun. It's fucking awful. And I don't wish it upon nobody. I've had have had it. My mother's had it. It's no fun. But it's not fucking a big deal. It's a fucking flu. It's, it affects some people differently. But I fucking felt like I had the sniffles for a couple days. And I was sleepy. God forbid. And I had to take two weeks off from work. So it wasn't even worth it. I would have rather made the money. But for all those out there, happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. Have a good day, y'all. And um, assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Whatever. You get my point. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. I'll see y'all later. Cutie patootie. You didn't have to do that. Look at my Valentine. Oh, I do the cutest. <laughs> Aren't you cute? I do good. You did very good. Look good. at her. She's like, you replaced my dead one. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's all happy. I'm very happy. You're Are you wearing the ring too? No? I didn't put that on though. No. Not yet. She's, I will. She's a bastard. It was in my sweats. What's in my sweats? <laughs> but you got me flowers. Yeah, well, that was very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. I told you I'd throw in the little gem at the end. Me, 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 me. Ah, they're the worst. But go subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. You want to do it? Go shoo, and go like this. Shoo. All right. No. <laughs>